Johnson. Knockout punch. Rudolph to Johnson. 43-yard touchdown. Rudolph going to loft one for the end zone. Has a man out there and open. Touchdown. Deontay Johnson. And that was a great catch by Deontay Johnson. Over the middle, running free. Deontay Johnson, 30, 25, 20. And gets into the end zone. Deontay, did anything surprise you about your rookie season and just what it takes to be in the NFL? I would say um, when I got my opportunity to start, because coming in, I didn't really expect that. Um, I was just coming in trying to just do whatever I was told, and if I got in the game, just do my best. And uh, Obviously, that wasn't the case, so I had to step up, and my role had changed. And I had to, just always be on my be on my uh, assignments and know what I'm doing at all the time. What what were the challenges with that? I guess. Obviously, I'm a starter now, so I gotta like, um, I gotta st study film more, take notes. Um, Cause <laughs> in college, I really didn't do that much, but now like it's it's serious, so I had to do those things and take care of my body more, uh, make sure I was eating the right stuff. That played a big part in my. Uh, my uh, success on the field as well. So. Who kind of maybe showed you the way of what it takes to do for your body off the field, as you were saying, eating right, just taking care of yourself so that you can play better on the field? Um, uh, Coach Thomas stayed on me, uh, Coach Gee, um, James Conner, because I had, when I had my injury from my hamstring, he kind of, I went to him for uh, like what he did to come back from me. Mm -hmm. And he gave me like some pointers of what to do, like drink more water, because I, I didn't like drinking water like that. What do you want to really work on this off season? As you, I, I'm sure you want to take a break because it's yeah. so much when you go from college to being a rookie and just being nonstop. But mm -hmm. when you eventually get back to that point, what do you want to work on for year two? Really, just like my ball skills and trying to gain a little more weight. Because I mean, uh, my coach, Coach Ray, said I need to put on a little more pounds, but. I mean, I'm not going to get too much bigger, so just work on my route running because that can always be better. I know um, being a rookie is not easy because of all the things we've already spoken about, mm -hmm. but knowing how close you were with Coach Drake, uh, what you meant to him and how excited he was the day that the Steelers drafted you, how hard was it with his passing so early in the season and then just having to keep moving even though you probably didn't want to at first? I um, mean, it was hard. I mean, just meeting a guy like that, I mean, that's, he a special person to me. Um, and just not being able to get to go through a season with him. You, know, you just get like a couple, like a month or two, three months with him and boom, he's gone like that. It's just crazy. So it's like, what do you do? Um, I had to stick around my teammates, and my, the guys in the receiver room. We had to rally around each other. And um, tell them one, play for one another and just play for him in general. And, um, just by doing that allowed me to uh, just keep my, like have a level head, like level head. I mean, because there was so much going through my mind each and every day. Like, what am I gonna do? How I'm gonna practice? Like, how my attitude is gonna be today? Um, like, I, I couldn't, I wouldn't have been in this position if it was for my teammates. I mean, I gotta give it everything to them because they got me through this this year. In terms of the things Coach Drake raved about you when the Steelers drafted you, we really started to see at the end of this season. Do you think he would be so proud of what you were able to do? Maybe you know, it making the impact that you didn't think you would necessarily do as a rookie. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he was smiling there every week, um, just watching me play. I mean, I felt like he was out there watching me each and every week. I mean. I played for him each nap, uh, whether that was on the field or off the field. I thought about him every day. Um, it's just a guy you just can't let go. I mean, it's hard, but and then you gotta always move forward. I mean, he's still gonna be with us going into next year. We still gonna play for him. Nothing gonna change. Um, so I can't, I can't thank that that man enough I mean, for believing in me and. Uh, pushing for me like he did during that whole process. Here's Johnson on the punt return. Deontay Johnson with blockers in front. Johnson into Arizona territory. Johnson down the sideline. He will go! 85 yards! Can you 
you take me through just your contributions on special teams and maybe how that helped jumpstart things for you? That's what helped me out in the whole draft process. Special teams helped me out because I can return and a lot of teams was looking for that. So, mm -hmm. and I didn't get, I mean, I got in there like towards the end of the year, but once I got in there, I started helping like getting yards and stuff. Um, got it, got a touchdown was the first. I'm happy to be the first rookie to like break the, I don't want to say a curse or whatnot, but <laughs> since 2007 or something like that. Yeah, um, San Antonio Holmes. Yeah. Um, just, just being able to do that is just special to me because that's something I've, I've, I've wanted to score a touchdown in the perfect in the NFL, and I was able to do that from the uh, special team uh, group. So I give everything to them because without them blocking, I wouldn't be able to do what I do back there. Lastly, what goals are you setting for yourself uh, for 2020? Oh, Pro Bowl receiver. That's my number one, trying to go to the Pro Bowl. Um, we wanted to top receivers in the NFL next year. Um, that's something I'm going to take pride in this offseason and I'm going to work my tail off to get, get it.